up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music thanks for clicking on the video this is for the super beginners out there that need a little direction they need something to practice they don't know what order of things to do so i worked up a nice little practice routine for you when you're not sure what to practice to get better at guitar so i don't want to uh waste any more time we're going to get right into it but thank you for subscribing here to marty music clicking the bell notification and checking the links below let's practice all right, hopefully your guitar is in tune. We're gonna start with some single note playing. Uh, the frets are one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna focus on this string. Hope, hopefully you can keep up with me. Uh, we're gonna start with a classic. O, which is open. Three, five. You can use one finger if you need to. Try and get good, clean tones out of it. The closer you are to the next fret, the less you have to press down to get a clean tone out of it. O, three, five. Next, we're gonna go O, three, six, five. It's all together. O, three, five. O, three, six, five. Back to O, three, five. Five. Then finally, three, O. Oh. And this is going to be fine on electric or acoustic. Here we go again. O, oh, three, five. O, oh, three, six, five. Uh, O, oh, three, five. Uh, three, O. Oh. Keep it going. O, oh, three, five. O oh, three six five, O oh, three five three O. Oh. One more time. O oh, three five, O oh, three six five, O oh, three five three O. Oh. Yes. Here we go again with something else. Uh O oh, three O. Oh. Five O, three O again. O, three O, five O, three O. Keep it going. O, three O, five O, three O. One more time. O, three O, five O. Now a new one. O, three, five, three, five, three, O, three, five, three, five, three, O, three, five, three, five, three, O, three, five, three, five, three. Play it with me. Go five three o oh, one two. Here we go five three o. Oh. We're gonna do it again. Again five three o oh. five three o. Oh. Last time. Which brings me to this one. Five O oh, three O oh. O oh, O oh, five O oh, three O oh. Now just add some E, some opens. Some open O's in between. Try. Super advanced, try it on the next string.
while we're on the single note thing, it's never going to hurt you to try and pick and use one finger per fret if you're a beginner. And then hop over. Then hop over. And backwards. All right, so now that we've done some single note picking, um, let's go over the beginner chords. First, we're going to start with E minor, which is the second fret on the A and second fret on the D. Strum the whole guitar. Try and get a clean tone out of it. If anything's buzzing or not ringing out, take a moment to play through each note or each string. And here if there's any spots that aren't ringing out. Next, we're gonna switch now between the E minor and the A sus two is what it's called. You just take that same shape and scoot it over here. And you got a nice shimmery pretty chord that's easy to play and it goes well with that E minor chord. So we're gonna do four strums on the E minor and then we're going to switch to four strums on that A sus two. Two, three, four, switch. get that down, then you want to start trying to play the A major chord, which is now three fingers. The uh, second fret on the D, second fret on the G, and then tucked behind it, the second fret on the B. So try those two. Now, it never hurts to challenge yourself by going like or etc. You know, you can get creative with it. But this is a video for when you're not feeling creative, but you need a direction to go to keep getting better as a beginner. That first hump, that first little hump that this is part of, once this becomes second nature, you can play millions of your favorite songs. So. Um, you just got to be a little bit patient in the first, you know, couple months or depending, you know, it could be your first couple weeks, depending on how much of this video, how many times you watch this video for how long will determine how amazing you will get a guitar. And I'm exaggerating. I'm kidding around, but this will help. So the next one I like would be E minor to G because one, it makes up a Nirvana song called About a Girl. Um, and... It has a pivot point, which is that index finger stays for both chords. So E minor has this. And G major, that middle finger comes off and grabs that third fret. And then eventually, you get your ring finger on that third fret high E. And 
G and E minor aren't just Nirvana. It's uh, millions of songs have those two chords together. A lot of times right next to each other in a progression. So if you're a super beginner, which I think, you know, is what this is for, first just go one, two, three, four, and then just switch that middle finger. Eventually add that uh, ring finger on that high E, third fret. Switch them, start with G. Now that you know three chords, or actually four chords, with just what we did so far, you can put them in different combinations. Or a full A major. with three chords you can make up chord progressions different combinations and rhythms of those three chords right there um, now also that you know three chords when I say three I mean this is a sus and this is a major and they, they're versions of kind of the same chord so right away you can take that a sus two and experiment adding your ring finger off and on to create a little melody. Now that you know three chords, you can do some muscle memory exercises where you form the chord and don't even worry about playing. You're watching, uh, you know, YouTube or waiting for a meal to finish or you're relaxing on the couch. You can take the three chords you know well and just as you're doing something else, just form the chords. Like I'm talking to you on the camera right now and I'm just going through those shapes while I do something else. Now, the other thing to get those shapes down quickly is another muscle memory exercise where you take the chord shape and try and keep the shape and put it back on and fix whatever you need to and then do it with the E minor. It's like pretending that you have some free spray. Ah, it's stuck forever. Gorilla glue. <laughs> Okay, so from there, uh, I would recommend the D major chord, which is just such a spectacular guitar chord. It's probably the most popular guitar chord shape. Um, it's uh, a very pretty sounding major chord. It also uh, is using these thinner strings, these higher strings, which just project in a pretty way. You also have the D classic D chord, keep the shape, put it back on, keep the shape, keep the shape, put it back on. And then you also have a thing that I discovered right away. The D chord is the first chord I ever learned. And I learned right away that uh, I could recognize when I added my pinky to that third fret high E. I could tell that came from like Led Zeppelin, you know? I could just tell with my ear. So you immediately have pinky off and on, but also middle finger off and on. So even if you're just getting used to the D chord, Now this is an opportunity for us to advance our rhythm now for a second, and let's go like this. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, 
up down up down up down up up down up down up down up let's add the d Switch to G. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Back to D. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. Now, the more you strum that, the more second nature that will have to be, and you don't have to count that or say that rhythm in your head. Take that rhythm and start messing with the pinky and middle finger. Now that we have the D chord, we can put it in different combinations. So um, E minor to G to D to A. A little bit slower, E minor. And if you're still having problems switching quickly, look at the little, the top finger of each chord. So for a G chord, try and target your middle finger on that third fret of the E string. When you're playing E minor, think of index finger on second fret of A. When you're thinking of the A major, same thing, index finger, but on the second fret of D. When it's the D chord, think index finger on the second fret G. So E minor, G, D, and A. Next, we want to get into the C chord, which you're going to want to target your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Now you can add that with all the other chords that we've been messing with, but F is the next kind of challenging chord. And this is like when we get near the end of your beginner practice routine. So we're approaching that ending. So if you didn't make it this far smoothly, that's okay. You can go back. I feel like I want this video to be a thing that you can like do every day as you break out of that super beginner thing. So if you're here and you did everything great so far real easily, take the C major chord and play that with all the other chords you know. And then let's play 
an F chord, and we're gonna just bring this over here. And even if you get the other strings to ring out, it's still gonna sound better than flailing on a bar chord if you're a beginner. So you can take a C, and then you just take your ring finger and middle finger, and you scoot them over here. And let your index finger, just kind of the meat of it, touch that high E string. You don't have to worry about it, but if it's touching it a little bit, it won't ring out. In other words, it'll be muted, but you can. Just doing down strokes. And then uh, there's a really popular chord in, in this range here with C, G, and F, and that's A minor. And it's easier than the C and F. It's very similar to C. It's like a C chord with the ring finger off and back on that second fret G. So you have second fret D, second fret G, first fret B string. That's A minor. And so if you have that A minor in there, you're going to have lots of songs that combine um, this like magic set of chords. And if we're staying in this kind of open position, easy position here, the combination, it's not every song, but you'll hear it in different rhythms and and uh, combinations of progressions C, G, A minor, and then F. And people really struggle with that F in the beginning. Just, just play through it. If it doesn't sound great yet, play through it sounding bad. That's how you get it to sound better. Avoiding it will never get it better. Playing it bad will eventually get it a little less bad, a little be less bad, decent, yeah, it doesn't sound too bad, and then easy, and then flawless. So C, G, A minor, and F. Great way to practice those. If you get creative, you can put them in different order, and they're always gonna sound good together like a family. They're, they're sharing the same pool of notes in different combinations to make these chords. And it it sounds like a great soundtrack to me giving you a, a pep, pep talk right now. So you're going to rip these chords. You're going to take that guitar. You're going to say, guitar, I love you, man. You can do it. Play the guitar. I'm now playing different combinations of those chords. F, G. Practice routine number one complete. All right, you guys, feel free to come back here when you uh, want to do this practice routine again. I really appreciate your support. Feel free uh, to uh, leave comments of requests and interactions on what you did from here and what helped you. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video, subscribing here to Marty Music, clicking the bell notification, 
checking those links below. Thank you, and good luck. Have fun. We'll see you later.